Hello and welcome back. Today we have a question. Find the sum of the digits of the denominator in the simplest form. So it sounds really confusing when you just read it all together. So let's divide the question, okay? So we first need to find the sum of the digits of the denominator in the simplest form. So the first step that we need to do is find the simplest form. And the second step is take the sum of the digits of the denominator. All right, let's first do the simplification. So the step one is simplify 112 over 528. Now, when it comes to simplification of fractions, you have to observe both the numbers, the numerator and the denominator, and think, is are they going to go in a common table? Do they have a common factor? Factor means, do they have a number, a table in which both of them can go? I have a hint here. They both end with even numbers, so they are definitely going to go with 2, right? So let me divide this by 2. They can be further simplified, but let me just divide by 2 for starters. So what is 112 divided by 2? It is 56. And then 528 divided by 2 gives me 264. So again, look at the numerator and denominator once again and see if they can be further divided. Yes, they can be divided by 2 again because the last numbers are even numbers. So they can get divided by 2. So let me just divide by 2 again. We are going to get 56 divided by 2 is 28. And 264 divided by 2 gives us 132. And again, they can be divided by 2. So let's divide further. We get 28 divided by 2 gives us 14. And 132 divided by 2 gives us 66. Now we have 14 and 66. Can they get divided even further? Yes, they can. Again, by which by which table? 2 because they are still have even number at the end. So, yes. 14 divided by 2 gives us 7 and 66 divided by 2 gives us 33. Now observe our numerator and denominator again. Are they both can they both go in do they both have a common factor can they both go in some same multiplication table no they can't even if i think if they go by seven times table 33 does not agree. I think seven and 33 do they have a common factor no they don't seven and 33 do not go do not have a common factor they both cannot go in any same multiplication table so we're going to stop right here and now we are moving on to our second step of the question, which is find the sum of the digits of the denominator. So we have already reached our simplest form, which is 7 by 33. And what do they say here? Sum of the digits of the denominator. Our denominator is this. So sum of the digits means we have to do 3 plus 3, which gives us a 6. And that's our final answer. I hope you get it and if you have anything that you did not understand from this question then please comment below and let me know and let me know if you have more questions bye take care